guys, Wills Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Guess where we are? We're in the end portal room. This is a project that you guys have been telling me to get back to and finish for, oh, I don't know, like 40 episodes now. <laughs> Something ridiculous like that. So we're actually going to be working on this, and I don't know if we're going to completely finish it in this episode, but we, if we don't finish it in this one, we'll definitely finish it in the next one. Um, and yeah, it's all good. Uh, I had a live stream today, well, yesterday for you, because you're seeing this in the future tomorrow for me, um, time travel uh, wibbly, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff, as, uh, they say in Doctor Who, uh, but we got this all prepped and ready to go, got kind of a block palette picked out, and I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I do want to talk very briefly about why we're doing this now, instead of, like, oh... 40 episodes ago, or whenever it was that I started this project. Um, basically, there was a Ender Dragon duplicator thingy, like right here, that uh, Exuma had made. And it was a bunch of redstone-y stuff, and I really don't... I, I don't get redstone. I don't understand redstone. It's just not my thing. Uh, and I didn't want to mess with it, because I wouldn't be able to put it back. Um, so I asked Exuma if he'd be willing to take it down... And he said that he wasn't done with it yet. So, um, and with that there, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to be able to finish the whole room with that thing being there. So I had to wait for him to essentially be done, uh, with the Ender Dragon spawner duplicator thingy. Uh, and he's done with it now. So we tore it down. Uh, I tore it down earlier today, uh, with his permission, of course. Um, also I thought there was a silverfish spawner in here that needed to be broken. And the other hermit said it would be fine to get rid of it. But when I broke out all the clay and stuff, it actually wasn't here. So maybe somebody had already gotten rid of it or something. I don't know. But either way, uh, that is what it, it is what it is. So I think we're ready to start building. And I've marked out some things here. You see these iron blocks? These are actually going to be part of the build. So let's start by grabbing some quartz. And let's see if I remember. Is it... Yeah, quartz pillars like that. Okay. So we're going to need... Um, two stacks should be a decent starting point, I think. And then we're going to need some iron blocks as well. And if we build this up five high, let's see. Uh, let me grab iron blocks here. So one, two, three, and then that. How high is that going to be? I don't know that that's going to be high enough. I think we're going to have to go seven. Yeah, I'm going to have to change up my my initial design a little bit, which is fine. That's okay. I can I can tweak it. Uh, so we'll essentially have like a like a five by five square. Uh, there we go. In between each of these sections, right? Uh, or is that? No, five by seven. I'm sorry. Math is hard. Um, <laughs> we'll have like a five by seven square. And I'm not going to do all of these on camera because it's just going to be the same design repeated over and over again. But we're going to build the first one uh, together so you guys can kind of see how I'm doing this. Um, so we'll get that. And then I think we're going to grab somewhere I've got a thing of andesite. Uh, actually, we're going to need some of these things too. Let me grab these. And where did I put my andesite? Uh, you know what? We'll just take this. I had a whole chest of it. Oh, you know what? It's probably in my ender chest. What you want to bet? Uh, stone, andesite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I knew I had some. So we got a whole bunch of andesite in here. I'm just going to grab uh, a couple stacks and we'll turn that into polished. Okay. So then uh, what we'll do is right here... And here, we'll put andesite, uh, or polished andesite, I should say, like that. And then I'm going to put one here and here as well. And then in between those, we'll put unpolished andesite, like that. And that's going to create this kind of nice effect, like that, which I think looks really good. Uh, then our floor in here is going to be primarily spruce, uh, although I'm going to do some interesting stuff with the floor to make it look better. Uh, so let's tear this stuff out. There, there, and this one's supposed to be a polished. 
And then right in the middle, right here, we're going to have a glowstone lamp to kind of light that up a bit. So let's grab... Uh, where did I put my glowstone lamps? There we go. Let's grab that. And I also need... Uh, there's some cobble. I'm going to need some levers. Do I have any planks? I've got some spruce planks. Those will do. Let's just make a few levers. And we'll toss a lever. Of course, there'd be gravel right there, naturally. Like, that's isn't that just my luck? <laughs> that's all right. Uh, here we go. So lever right there. And glowstone lamp right there to light it up. Okay. So there's that part. And then we're going to take this chunk right here out. Let the gravel fall so it doesn't kill me. And same on that side right there. Looking good. And then we're going to put some stained clay in there. Now, I've played around with a lot of different options for the stained clay. Uh, in fact, even in the live stream that I did earlier today where I was kind of prepping this whole thing, I was still playing around with a bunch of different options for the stained clay. And I was, I'm, I'm not entirely set on a specific color. I thought about pink and purple. I thought about uh, the green. I thought about just tons and tons of different options. Um, but I think what we're going to settle on is this green right here. We'll do that to kind of mark that off. And then I'm going to take some dark oak stairs and put one here and here and there and there to kind of mark out that section like so. And then these, I'm going to change this uh, up from my original design a little bit. And I think right here we're going to have sand and sugar cane, which will grow to too high because of these slabs being here. And I think that'll give us a really nice kind of green color contrast there between the sugar cane and then the um, uh, the dark, the, like the green stained clay in the background there. I think that'll look really good. But I don't actually have any sugar cane on me, so I'm going to have to go and get some of that. Uh, but that's kind of the design in a nutshell. Um, now, originally this was also planned to be a bit smaller. It was going to be... Um, five by five instead of five by seven. So we'll see how it works, but I think this will look good. And then we'll basically just repeat that design in each of these corners going around the entire room. And I think it'll look, I think it'll look really good once it's all said and done, but I've got a lot of work to do to get all this taken care of. It's going to take me a while guys. So let me get to it and I'll come back to you in just a little bit.
All right, guys, I am back. So, we got a lot done. We got all the walls all taken care of. Oh, did just notice that that piece of string was just chilling there. Uh, <laughs> definitely want to get rid of that. So, we got the walls all in place, uh, and I think they look pretty good. I am kind of thinking that maybe we are going to want to do like a lighter green up here to kind of match the, the sugar cane. Also, I think the biome actually changes here from forest to desert. So the color of the sugar cane kind of shifts, which is a little weird. And I didn't realize that before I started this, but I think it looks okay. I think it still looks good. Um, I'm not too concerned with it. I, and you know what? It's fine. It's, it's no big deal. Um, so let's swing over here, get back into our supply room. And I think now we need to kind of come up with a floor design. So let's grab, hmm, what would go well? Let's grab maybe these oak logs here. And what I'm thinking is we're going to want some sort of design that covers this back part up. Because uh, as you guys saw during the time lapse... We've got water hiding back here, so we want to cover that up for sure. And what I ultimately want is some kind of design down at this level and then glass looking down into it. So you can see some sort of a design down here that looks interesting and then you walk over top of it and uh, I think it'll be good. But first, we got to get this in place. So maybe we go something like this. Just like every other one. No, I don't like that at all. That's too too checkerboardy. Not really a fan. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, since we're kind of dividing this into little sections, maybe we'll grab some spruce logs and some dark oak logs. And maybe, maybe we'll do something like this, where we go spruce, spruce. Or, maybe even, spruce going that way. Like that, because remember, this is going to be glass here. And then dark oak coming across there. Or maybe, maybe we do it the other way around. So we put dark oak here, spruce there. How's that look? Hmm... Still not really a fan of that, to be entirely honest. What if we were to do spruce stairs? What if we just kept it really simple? And instead of logs here, we just did good old spruce stairs going all the way across like so. How's that look? I can live with that. I think that's a good look. And then the glass would kind of come up here. Now, here's another question. If I do that, can I reach this? No, not without another block to stand on top of it. Because uh, we're going to mirror. Whatever we do here, we're going to mirror up there. At least around the edge. But I think this works, and it makes the whole thing look a little bit more intentional, I guess? I don't know. I I think this works out well. So let me finish lining the room with these spruce stairs here, and then I will come right back to you. All right, guys, I'm back. So we got the spruce stuff all in place and looking fine. Now, next step, we want to make sure that there is lighting underneath the floor. That's very important. So, or, un well, not underneath the floor, but underneath the glass. So, what I'm thinking, if I can find them anyway, what did I do with all my, oh, here we go. I'm thinking we use some redstone lamps, right? And I've got various different types of logs. I do, but I want one stack of spruce logs. There we go. So ultimately, since all of this is divided into even chunks, right, just just kind of envision 
that everything is kind of sectored off into these kind of five by five areas, right? So, or, well, technically, I suppose it's, it's, hmm. it's a little funky. <laughs> it's a little funky. Oh, man, that's actually going to mess everything up, isn't it? Because of this right here. Hmm. Didn't think of that. Didn't take the border into consideration. That could make coming up with a design a little bit difficult. Maybe. We might be able to work around it. We might be able to work around it. Let's see. Maybe we can just kind of take it into account and make it work anyway. Because this would be five. I think all of these would be five by five, right? If we're just lining up with the pillars. Yeah, like this one's a five by five. This one, these, it's. I think it's just these ones on the end would be like a four by... Yeah. The rest of them should be... Or I didn't line that up right. That, <laughs> that would also make a difference. Oh, man. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's brainstorm a little bit. Why don't we do... On the other hand, we could also potentially do something other than just a repeating pattern. Or, the other option would be to just kind of mark out where the pillar sections all kind of intersect and make it work. That's, that's our other option. So we would have like a glowstone lamp here. And here. And there. Hmm. That's going to look off. That's just going to look weird. Um. Man. I should have thought about that. And made the room just a tiny bit bigger. Now the walls are all in place. So I'm not going back and redoing it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not happening. Um. Let's see. I mean, we could potentially take these stairs and push them back to here, right? So it would be like that and there. And then these we would probably turn into full blocks, I think, right here. And then the glass would run that way, and then everything would line up the way we want. But, I don't know if that looks as good. Oh! Dang it. That was the wrong spot. Slab, slab. Here, these are all slabs right now. Not, um, I have too much stuff. Way too much stuff. Let's just put some torches down. Hmm. I don't know. I'm... I'm kind of at a loss for how to proceed here. And I don't know what I want to do for the ceiling as well. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more planning here. And brainstorming. Let me see what I can come up with, guys. I'll come back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. And I think, I think I have a solution. Now, keep in mind, right where I'm standing, this layer that goes right up against these blocks, this is going to be a layer of glass. So whatever we put here needs to look at least mostly decent, okay? Uh, so we need to be kind of careful with what we put up against this layer. 
And I think if we do something, I mean, we could potentially do spruce like that. And then underneath the pillars, we could do this and change those out for iron blocks. Man, now nah, that doesn't look good either. Hmm. What if we were to go and take dark oak underneath like that? Right? So, oh man, I don't know. I need to come up with something. Oh, that's a, that's a, that, that, I, mm, oops. I need to come up with something that goes here that doesn't look terrible. <laughs> that can go basically around the whole edge of the room. Um, hmm. You know, here's a thought. What if we did stairs like that? And then, since it blends so well together, we did oak lining up, right? So, uh, where's my spruce? So we go spruce stair and spruce stair. And then here, we'd put oak logs like that. I think that could work. That could work. And it really only needs to work right along the very edge where everything else is kind of getting smushed up. Because then the bottom layer, this is going to be some sort of detail design floor thing uh, that will kind of stand on its own. So I think this could work. I think this could work, and I think this could work quite nicely at that. So we do something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I can work with that. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, let me get that done around this whole thing, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So, now we have even areas. So, like, this would be a centered block, and it would be centered on all the pillars. This would be a center block. Uh, this would be a center block, and so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. That is a long way down. Um, <laughs> and the reason that's important is because we are going to put a lever right there with a light on top of it. Same here and there. And basically, in all of these quote-unquote center blocks okay now here right up against this thing we're going to be doing something with this nether portal as well i haven't decided yet what that's going to be uh so for the time being we're not going to mess with it we'll probably save that for later after i've had some more time to brainstorm and all that kind of stuff but in the meantime we can start kind of working on a design here for these stairs and what i'm thinking is maybe we can kind of play with the different types of stairs that we're using in the build let's just grab that and let's make a few more dark oak stairs just like that should be enough there we go and maybe what we can do is we can kind of turn Ooh, i don't know if that's actually possible i don't think it is Okay, that's fine. So, we'll go here and here. And there and there. Is that right? No. No, 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 no. Wait. Forming. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. So, these ones would go here. Those ones are going in like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you would do something like that, right? And that would give us kind of this nice, like, checkerboard sort of thing. And then maybe what we could do is... Let's see. And then we would need some sort of divider to divide these sections. And it 
doesn't necessarily have to be a log like this. It could totally be something different. Um, but it need we need some some way to kind of split the pattern a bit. And I'm thinking here in these sections we're gonna put in some oak log uh, some dark oak logs like that. And then on the outsides here, we'll maybe do something like this. And maybe some spruce logs. Like, that's a pretty intricate floor. And then down in these little chunks that you can actually see, we can just kind of fill those in with spruce, because they really don't matter. Uh, and you won't see those everywhere. You would just kind of see them there up against the wall. So, like, that's a pretty... That's a pretty detailed floor design, and I like it. There's a lot of different uh, kind of things going on there. Now, we do need a way to kind of separate that. So, let's rebuild it right here. Which shouldn't be hard to do. Uh, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. Grab... Dark oak stairs here, and I think it was like this. There, there, and like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was spruce logs going in like this. And spruce logs in the corners. Right? Yep. So we could do that. And then maybe to separate them, we could do spruce like this and a dark oak log there. How would that look? I mean, that would be something we could work with, I think. I don't think that would look horribly out of place. And that would be basically our our divider then. So, um, what did we say right here? So spruce log. So then it we would to do the same thing on this side. It would basically go like that, right? Same kind of a deal. Totally works. Totally makes sense. We'd put a a dark oak over here as well in these corners and just basically breaking it up right same same basic thing just all the way like I'm good with that floor design I think that looks really cool uh, we're gonna need a whole lot <laughs> of spruce and dark oak to make that happen but I think that'll be a really cool floor design, especially when we tile it all the way across this whole room. I think that'll look super cool. Um, but what I will say is I am definitely out of time for this episode, guys. So uh, we're going to have to finish this one, I think, in the next episode. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.